Hey everyone, it's Chad, and today I'm going to replace this T-lock on the back of my truck. Recently I lost my keys, and the one key that I had left was a key that was made from one of the originals that barely worked. When I had additional keys made from it, they totally didn't work. So the fact that I lost a key and it was out there floating about, plus I didn't have an additional key, I just felt a little uncomfortable. So I went ahead and ordered this on Amazon. It's a direct replacement for this one. And all I need is this 11 in one screwdriver. I'll have a link to that down in the description. And I'm just gonna use a three quarter inch uh, wrench to pry off the back of this. So stick with me. I'll get you up close and we'll uh, take a look at how to get this part and put the new one on. So I'm replacing this T-lock on an ARE M pulse. It's an older camper top, but I believe that a lot of these T-locks are very similar on a variety of different camper tops. So here's my situation. These should work both directions, I believe. That one doesn't work. All right, this one works. But not very well in both directions. So I spent like five bucks on these keys, getting new ones made, and they're useless. Two of them are useless. I'm gonna see if I can get my money back on those. Okay, the two main tools you need are gonna be an S2 for removing these. And if you remove this, you've got a five sixteenths. You got a five sixteenths right here to remove that. So this one 11 and one tool from Klein will do everything. I'll have a link to that down in the description through the Amazon affiliate program, which is really nice because if you use that link, I make a dollar or two on a bunch of sales and it costs you absolutely nothing. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna to try to use this three quarter inch wrench to wedge this off. Should just pop off. There you go. And then these. Super quick change. All right, so I don't know if you can see that, but the new one comes with Phillips head, and that's fine. I'll, I'll go ahead and use the new one I've got on this 11-in-1 tool. I've got a Phillips head. All right, sorry about that. I had to take a little break. Make sure that the handle is this direction when you go to install it on here. Otherwise, you won't be happy with the outcome. All right, so that's it. Locks up. Keys work. Well, that's it for this project. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. If it's your first time to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit that like button. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them below. I'm more than happy to answer them. And as always, have a great day.